Good afternoon, this is Amy Todd with Amy's Creative Wishes. And today we are going to be making this birthday card. It's fairly simple. Um, we're gonna start with using the Dandy Garden 6x6 Designer Series paper. That's the Designer Series paper in the background here. And we are going to use Approaching Perfection stamp set for this happy birthday. And then for this image here, I'm using Corner Bouquet. And these two stamp sets are both going to be in cele cele celebration starting in January. So January and February, we have what's called celebration. And for every $60 you spend, you get to pick a free item out of the celebration brochure. These are two of those items. So that starts Tuesday, January 5th. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to contact me at amyscreativewishes at gmail.com or right here on my Facebook page or YouTube channel. Speaking of Facebook and YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get started. Today, this one was done in Blackberry Bliss, but today I'm going to change it up and I'm going to do Calypso Coral. Just to see. I'm trying to find the designer paper that I want to use that's in Calypso Coral. Hmm. I think I'll use this one. So we need to cut it down because this is six by six. So we need to cut it. Oh, let me get that out of the way so I can have a flat surface. We need to cut this at four by five and a quarter. And then these two pieces you can save for another card or the inside of a car, the inside of the card, whatever you like. So there's our background paper. This is the card again. So as I said, we're using clips of coral today instead of Blackberry Bliss. I just wanted to change it up and see what it would look like in a different color. But wanted to use the same designer series paper pack. So that's just gonna go on like that. And then these two pieces are going to layer. This Calypso Coral piece measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And this Whisper White is three and a half by four and three quarters. So let's start with the stamping. I'm going to use this, this image from Corner Bouquet with Calypso Coral ink. So we're gonna put it down in the bottom left corner. Perfect. And then in the top right, or turn it around and it's the bottom left again. There we go. And we are also going to need I had a scrap of Whisper White. Where did it go? Here it is. A scrap of Whisper White to punch out from the tailored peg tag punch. And then this, this layer that we're going to use behind this layer, we're going to punch out a tailored tag punch from that as well. And you'll You'll never know because it will be hidden behind this layer. 
It's just a great way to save on your cardstock. You might as well use the layers you have, right? Rather than pulling out another scrap. So, I'm just gonna double check this. Because the, the other day I had something on the, the D and birthday and it didn't turn out right. So I'm just going to stamp this happy birthday on the tailored tag punch that I cut out. Mm, the P on that time didn't turn out very nice. Let me see if I can get it better. Two sides to every piece of cardstock. If it doesn't work the first time, just flip it over. There, that's better. And then this one, we're going to cut in half. And using some snail here, we're just going to add a little bit of snail and attach this just so that it has a little bit of a border. And then we're gonna do the same here. Like that. So now we have um, a sentiment that's that's layered and it looks, looks nice. Okay, and then it's just putting the card together and then we're pretty much, oh, done. Oh, no, we've got to stamp the inside layer so I'm not going to re-ink it I'm just going to use what the ink that's left there but because it's been sitting for a minute I'm going to huff on it just to re-moisten it <sighs> and then we're just going to put this down in the bottom left corner for the inside there so let's to attach the inside layer first. And yes, I'm still using snail. I'm just trying to use it up. There we go. So that's the inside of the card. And now the outside. That's pretty side too. I'm going to use that on another card. Because there's another piece of this same design in that designer series paper pack. So we can always use the other side for our next card. Okay, let's add some snail onto here. And attach these two. And now we are going to pop this layer up on using dimensionals. Remember, it's those little hexagon pieces that just add dimension to your cards. Okay, so this just gets put in the center of the card. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the sentiment layer as well. And I'm kind of going overboard on the dimensionals for the sentiment, but I just want to make sure it's not going to get squished or ruined when it's gone through the mail. And I'm just gonna line that up with the white this the white layer on the right hand side. And there we go. So there's our card for today. Uh, let me know in the comments which you prefer, the Calypso Coral or the Blackberry Bliss. I like this card a lot. I think I'm gonna be making it in a variety of colors. Thank you so much for, for joining me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me again via my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Or you can reach me at amyscreativewishes at gmail.com. 
If you like any of the products that I use today, please feel free to reach out to me again at amyscreativewishes at gmail.com or you can shop right on my Facebook page, or not my Facebook page. Well, yes, there is a shop now button on my Facebook page. But you can go to amyscreativewishes.stampinup.net to do any shopping. As I have mentioned in other videos, I do sell everything that I use in these videos. So I hope you enjoyed everything for today. And I hope you had a wonderful and safe new year. May 2021 bring you joy and happiness and health. Thank you so much and have yourself a wonderful day.